Hey gang, it's Brennan here announcing that Dimension 20 has gotten so big it needs its own YouTube channel where you can go exclusively for new Dimension 20 content. That's what everyone here is working on right now. Say hi, industrious workers. Hi, industrious workers. Oh, you love to see it. Guys, we're really excited. Follow the link in the description to Dimension 20 Show. That's our new channel. And make sure to ring that bell so that you can get notifications about all the cool, awesome, exclusive surprises we've got coming your way. Now stay tuned for episode two, part one, where we find out exactly what is waiting under the ice cocoon. <laughs> it is a snowy, blustery day. Clear skies over the best in skyline of any city that has ever been or will ever be. It is New York City, baby. I'm Pete. I am not doing well on the inside. My name is Sophia Lee. I'm sorry, no, it is Sophia Bicicleta. Hey, I'm uh, Kagrash. I live in the subway tunnels and I take care of the discarded people of New York. My name is Kingston Brown. I am a steward of New York City. I will be here until I die. I'm Misty Moore. I'm a Broadway diva, lover of dance and light and brilliance. I'm uh, Ricky Matsui. I'm a, f a firefighter and I'm just here to help. Well, first of all, Santa Claus is real. Awesome. Santa Claus clones himself millions and millions of times, and each of those clones goes to the separate houses. Santa deposits his defective clones here in the city. That is SantaCon. Something's wrong. These SantaCon clones, they're, they're not like normal. They're really dangerous. You have been awakened into the unsleeping city. Make your way to Times Square as soon as you can. You see, the Times Square is empty. Ooh. In the center is an enormous icy cocoon. You look and see swarming SantaCon clones. Oh. Oh. Hello and welcome back to the Unsleeping City. My name is Brandon Lee Mulligan. These are our intrepid heroes. Say hi, intrepid heroes. Hi, hi intrepid, intrepid heroes. heroes. I love it. We descend into Times Square with this strange icy fortress throbbing with icy blue light and these horrifying Santa mutant clone monsters surround. Did you try to make the most disgusting thing so we couldn't call them cuties. <laughs> oh, Santa cutie. For everyone cutie, watching cutie, at home, cutie. everyone watching at home, the term is corn gremlin. And, <laughs> uh, all right, guys, um, I'm gonna go ahead here and clear away some of our lovely time This one has a little candy cane. Um, Santa's little helpers. <laughs> That's who we're finding. They have ripped them uh, apart. Guys, uh, you guys arrive at the southern end of this part of Times Square. The colored bases is really doing it for me. Yeah. Uh. We begin. You guys see these horrifying mutated Santa clones. Some with huge insectoid hair paces, some with tentacles moving around where their arms should be. Some of them, instead of faces, have circular mouths that open up like little alien mandibles all going. Uh, you guys arrive at the southern end here. You see that they bristle and chitter and spines erupt from their skin. Kingston, you are the first to act. Oh man, uh, can I do like a? Can I look at this this uh, this this shell uh, thing and just try and get a read on it of some kind? Give me an insight check. Great. Uh, ooh, ooh, uh, 12. It is throbbing with some kind of energy. There is something inside of it that is growing. This is a cocoon. Got it. Uh, fantastic. And then uh, with the rest of my turn, I'll bless Kugrash, Ricky, and Sophie. Oh. Hey, thanks, man. Thank you. I don't know. It's incredibly it. kind. This is way better than communion. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Your subway token glows, and the strength of the city fills your bodies. Uh, that's going to be Ricky Matsui. Um, I look around. I uh, see them tearing that guy apart. Uh, and just have to go in. But I also see that uh, she seems 
like she's about to run in there. So I, I cast Shield of Faith as a bonus action on, on Sophie, and then try to w- walk forward and attack the closest one. Cool, you can move, uh, your speed is 30, so you can move six squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. yeah. What does Shield of Faith do to, do to my AC? Uh, you get Raises it plus two. two. Well, it's a concentration thing. Uh, uh, so I'm just gonna just take a just a regular attack at it. Hell yeah! Go ahead and roll your attack. Okay. Uh, that is only thirteen. Only a thirteen. Oh, uh, a th- I don't add bless to that, do I? Uh, you you do add bless. Oh. It's D four. Yeah, dude. Uh, fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you hit. Uh, go ahead and roll damage. This one? No. I think it's the, it's the two pyramids. Yeah. Two pyramids. Oh. It's been a while. Uh, I, hit, I hit for um, 11. 11 points of damage. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, you run up to that Santa um, uh, and just, first of all, you like grab Sophie. Uh, mm-hmm. What do you say as you cast uh, Shield of Faith on Sophie? Just. Promise me you'll be careful because you seem like you won't. Oh my god, <laughs> anything missed to march? <laughs> uh, you take a and you see that your uh, axe thuds in to that first mutant there. Roll an insight check for me. Okay. Ooh, uh, what am I? Uh, 20, not now. Some of these Santas look to be a little bit more sinewy and tentacly. Uh, the one that you ran up to is like thicker and like kind of rocky or has like bone and carapace. So you see that your ax does hurt him badly. Whoa, thuds into him. But the, the sort of rocky, crunchy exterior kind of swallows your ax up a little bit as it like whoa, and then you pull it back out. Um, uh, but you do f- him up. You do deal some damage to him. Um, that is going to be the chrysalis. Uh, the chrysalis begins to glow a little bit brighter. Um, and then these mutants. <laughs> Ricky, you sweet boy. Please don't hit me. <laughs> you, see, uh, you see that that Santa right there does not jump. You see it goes, and a burst of plasm comes out of the backside of him, and he rockets up onto the roof of that place. Um, oh my God! Douchebags are ruining the city. This is horrifying. Um, They're closing, and you guys see rushing out of the chrysalis the three more. Oh, Oh, God. God. Handle that. One, two, and three. They like squirm and pop out of these very small openings in the front of the chrysalis. The ones around Ricky are going to take swings. Um, Ricky, remind me of your armor class one more time. That's going to be, uh, one of them hits you for, uh, for seven points of damage. <laughs> With his horrifying claw. Um, I'm at 23. I think you need to roll to maintain concentration, right? When I get hit? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, go ahead and make that roll. Uh, oh, 16. To your five. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Red, the one up on top of the roof um, rips open his stomach and goes, and is going to, to make an attack on Pete, uh, and he goes ahead and deals uh, six points of damage to you as a burning hot chunk of coal shoots out of his innards and into your face. He goes, you're a bad little boy. Uh, that's going to be... I'm at 16. Sophie. Okay. Well, I've learned a lot today, and... Um, <laughs> My brain is working overdrive to process everything, so I'll just do what I do best and get into the fray. Now, I probably have um, a bit ex- of experience like assessing my opponents because I've been in many schoolyard scraps. Mm-hmm. Who looks like I want to go after them? Because I'm used to going after the biggest guy. Do uh, I have any kind of like sense of like, you're the biggest threat? 
uh, they all look pretty slimy and gross to you okay. at the moment. All right then, I'm just coming for Mr. March. <laughs> I'm coming to save you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Ricky, by the way. I just want to make sure that you're aware. <laughs> got it. <laughs> got um, and got I'm going to attack the, one of the guys who's attacking him. Uh, hell yeah, go for it. Does a 17 hit? A 17 does hit, yes. Yes! So that's going to be six. And then with my other elbow, it's going to be three. We're just going to leave it at that for now. Uh, hell yeah. Uh, you see, six and three. Um, yeah, you run up, pow, pow! You hit this one as well. Um, give me an insight check as well. 19! Yeah. Oh, wait, no, it's gonna be more than that. It's gonna be 22! Um, you run up to one that I believe yours has a little tentacle there that you're hitting, right? Yeah. Uh, yours is like a little slimier and squishier, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, you hit it with your fists, and you feel that it is hurting it badly. You did do, deal damage to this thing. The ones that like Ricky is fighting look more, even though they're harder, they're also more brittle as a result of that. Uh, just as you're fighting them, just a weird thing that occurs to you, because you hit this guy, and he just kind of squidges a little bit. Um, that's going to be Pete. Okay, I'm freaking the f out. <laughs> I haven't slept in four days. Uh, I think I'm trying to channel whatever that like dark voice that took care of my dad was. Mm -hmm. Like that button isn't still on my you, my bracelet. Yeah, you touch your bracelet, um, and you hear a bunch of voices whispering. Pete, I want to help you. Let me help. Let me help you. Let me be the one to help you. Who do you want? Who do you want to help you? Okay. Yeah, I invoke that. Um, awesome. Uh, uh, what is Pete sort of thinking at that moment? What's Pete want to have happen? I'm like, I need to blow as many of these away as I <laughs> can. Uh, this day is crazy. Um, cool. Go ahead. Uh, if you want to cast Scorching Ray, I think that's probably going to surge up. So you roll a spell attack. Oh, right. Four. Plus. Plus your spell attack. Which is right. Have it on this. Uh, it's, so you got a ten on the first one. A ten, a ten does not hit, but you get two more Save attacks. Two more. Oh, I got you. Oh, okay, yeah. Un so fifteen. Fifteen hits. And twelve. 12. Uh, and 12. 12 also hits. Oh, cool, oh, cool. Good. All right, great. Uh, so you can either send them at two different people or you can uh, send them at the same person. Um, you can also, you're, they're each separate attacks, so you can see what the first attack does and Love then it. decide. Yeah. yeah, okay, I'll do that. I'll see what this first uh, attack Cool, roll 2d6. Two two I guess I'll aim for uh, that guy right in front of me. Cool, go for it. Okay. Nine. Uh, nine damage. Um, you explode him. Nice. Um, your fire spell appears to work even better than it normally, it's like a small amount of fire, but it hits him and Oh, cool. Um, you yeah, hold your hand out and you hear behind you like uh, this, just these whispers going like, everyone is there, everyone's dreamed of burning alive. Everyone's dreamed of burning alive. And now it's time for you to dream too. And that Santa looks you right in the eyes and goes, no, never Merry Christmas! And just explodes in peppermint everywhere. And in a little five feet area around him, peppermint shards fly out in all directions. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Hey, um, good job, kid. You're really good at this. You're good at killing people. Yeah, thanks. You're gonna fit in great here. Yeah. I, I could kill anyone, honestly. Good job, kid. Yeah. Right? Right? Misty, that's gonna. Oh, sorry, oh, you're I have second shot. Yeah, yeah, go for uh, it. I'm gonna go for this guy kind of in the cluster, also in front of me. Uh, 13. Sick. When that happens, he explodes into peppermint. Roll me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, no. Yikes. Uh, oh, at bless. You're dude. blessed, dog. Uh. <laughs> oh, are you all 14? Please do not yeah. forget that you're cool. blessed. Uh, you're fine. 17. You only take three points of cold damage as this <laughs> horrifying mutant erupts in fire and peppermint goes everywhere. I'm at 20. Um, that is going to be Misty. Um, I would like to do an uh, investigation or arcana check on this situation. Uh, go ahead, roll either one. 
great. I don't have good for either of them, but uh, 16. Um, you're looking at it and you can tell that something inside of that is, again, pupating, is about to come out and that it's not only producing these mm -hmm. clones here, it is transforming actively within that chrysalis. Um, I turn to Kingston and say, there's something in there, we gotta get it. Do you wanna go inside? That's my uh, question. Yeah, I'm thinking about I'm it. I'm also thinking about going inside. Did you guys see how I just lit them on fire? Yes, yeah, you're magical. Awesome. You'll get used to it. I didn't have to use my gun. That yeah. would be really great. Cool. Just be careful with that in the future. <laughs> okay, yeah, I will. Uh, thanks. Bro. Um, hey, Austin is awesome. really annoying. <laughs> what? Uh, I say we, I'm, I'm trying to go inside, yeah. I think. Me too. Uh, so I'm gonna move as close to, can I take a dash action and, and get as close to this thing as possible? Uh, Maybe yeah, you can down. move, you can move 12 squares with a dash okay. action. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 11, 12, I'm gonna just wait cool. here because a bunch of things are gonna come out yeah. of here in a second. Gotcha, um, that's Misty, that's your, that is your turn. What are your hit points total? 27. Okay, um, okay, okay. Uh, unless, unless you wanna use a bonus action. Uh, oh yes, and I um, will turn around and say, by the way, Kingston, as always, that coat looks fabulous on you, <laughs> and I give you Inspiration. <laughs> yeah, Thank you, Misty. Hell yeah. Congrats, that's you, baby. Sweet. I start rushing towards uh, the old cocoon here. One, two, three, four, five. I have 25 speed. Um, and then I'm going to create a flaming sphere and send it in. Yeah. I have to make it as an action uh, within 60 feet, so I'll. I'll do it like where I can see it, and then I, as a bonus action, I can move it up to 30 feet. So I'll uh, Hell yes. Um, do you make an attack roll for that, or is it a saving throw? The sphere stops if it hits someone. They have to do a dexterity saving throw if they're in the way. Gotcha, and you're sending it like up through the channel? Yeah, I'm just gonna send it in the, in the old doorway. Hell yeah. Um, go ahead and roll damage for me from the flaming sphere. Okay, sweet. Uh, I think it's just 2d6 damage on a failed save. It stops like once it hits one person, so it doesn't like go through a bunch of people. Eight damage. Uh, you send it in there, and you guys hear the deepest, most terrifying. <laughs> uh, from within there, and the light inside the chrysalis uh, begins to glow. Congrats, what'd you do? Yeah, <laughs> do, man. <laughs> Come out of you stupid cocoon. I know you're not a butterfly. <laughs> Butterflies are nice. Yeah, and the thing you said in there, by the way, it's like, I imagine Kagurish just like whips a dirty rat hand <laughs> along and just sparks some of the residual oil in the asphalt <laughs> and this nasty trash ball of like oil fire. That's like, uh -huh. it's like one of those things where you think of magical fire, you think like a brilliant bright, and this is like mo so smoking that you almost can't see the fire in the middle. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, awesome, that's gonna go back and be Kingston. Uh, I guess I'm gonna chase after uh, these other two. So, I guess we go one, two, three, four, uh, five. Can I go through this square? You can, if you're taking a double, yeah, you can take a double. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now I have to stand up. Uh, uh, nine, 10, 11, 12. Hell yeah. Great. Um, awesome, that's gonna be Ricky. Okay, so the one in front of me is the the kind that seemed brittle. And the one to the right of me seemed softer? Yes, correct. Okay. I'm just gonna hit the softer one just to see what would happen if I hit it with like slashing damage. Cool, go for it. Roll an attack. Okay. Uh, uh, 19. 19 definitely hits. Yeah. Cool. Right. And are you going for the one that Misty already kind of, yeah, cool. Awesome. Oh, Sophia. Yeah, so, uh, Sophia. Yes, doing that one. Um, where is my D8? What am I looking for? Yeah, here we go. No. God. Ooh, I hit it for 15. You hit it for 15? Yeah. This thing uh, looks, and it's just this gooey, oozing tentacle, and he looks at you and says, don't bring that home, da 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 And you split it. Um, it explodes, uh, and each of you need to make a dexterity uh, saving. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
Um, I only got a five. I got 16. Uh, you got 16, you got a five. You take four cold damage. Sophie, you take two. Okay. Uh, but you see that, yeah, it's super effective. Okay. Um, your axe glows bright and the power of civic responsibility <laughs> flows through your veins. Uh, that guy did. Um, then. Forgot they explode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now it's gonna be these dudes, I'm afraid. Um, oh no. Uh, you feel something in there battering its way out, trying to uh, like hatch out of this chrysalis. Um, hey, don't do it, buddy, it's fine. <laughs> Stay asleep. Congrats, stop yelling at it. <laughs> <laughs> Just speaking in bug. <laughs> <laughs> You see these mutants. This guy comes here. This guy is gonna take a little step over here. This guy goes over here. Right now. This guy here. Uh, this guy is going to come over here. Oh, car crash. Okay. Um, but you see that no other Santas come out of the chrysalis now that the fire's in there. Dope. Um, Tight. Uh, and this guy is going to fly down oh, man, with our boy Pete. Um, cool. Uh, Pete, go ahead and make a deck saving throw for me. Five. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, you go ahead and take uh, five points of cold damage. Um, I am going to need, uh, oof, this is gonna be brutal. Uh, I'm gonna need Kugrash mm -hmm. to make uh, two dexterity saving throws. Okay. Remember, you're blessed. You're blessed. Dude. I am blessed, good. I have pretty good decks. Oh, Matt 20. Nice. Hell <laughs> yes. Cool, uh, and roll me another one. Let me roll one on the second one. Oh, oh I got a roll really plus. Uh, 10, second one. 10 is exactly what you needed. Uh, thank oh, goodness. Cool. Uh, the first one you take no damage from, the second one you only take three points of cold damage. I'll describe what's happening in a moment. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need um, Sophie to make three dexterity saving throws. Okay. Sheesh, three? Mm -hmm. Just... Disgusting. Whatever's happening right now is <laughs> disgusting. Right. Okay. First one is gonna be Success. 25. Wow. I'm a dexterous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nat one. One on uh, one. Uh, yeah, two ones. So that's gonna be an eight. And then the other one is gonna be a 18. 18, cool. Um, you take. Jesus. Uh, God. You oh, take. No. Jesus, like, no, whoa, it's I got very low. You only take seven points of cold damage. Yeah, uh, I still feel good. Uh, uh, Ricky, I'm gonna need you to make one, two, three, four, five dexterity saving throws. Ricky! Come on, that's too blessed. many. How's, it, uh, how does this math work out? Seven, he definitely blessed the right people because we're all making For the first one. Failure. Uh, eight for the second one. We can bless eight. better. Uh, 18 oh, for save. the third one. Cool. Oh. A nat 20. Hey! No damage. And then. Uh, this is 12. Okay. So two of them. Uh, I will need Kingston and uh, Misty to each make two saving throws as well. Dexterity? Yes, dexterity. Oh, cool. crap. Uh, 11 first. Um, Ricky takes 12 points of cold damage. Okay, I'm at four. Uh, oh. 11 and 15. 11 and 15? Uh, I, yeah, I got a, an eight and a 24. Kingston, you take four points of cold damage. Um, uh, and Misty, you take uh, seven points of cold damage. You guys see that all these, the thing inside here screams, all of the mutant Santa clones go, and pull their mouths open and go, and a torrent of razor sharp peppermint spines as they all breath weapon all over you guys at the same time, shredding your bodies with like cold and peppermint. Uh, and the smell of like pine and mint and bile and. 
is mixed into the air together. <laughs> it's fine, oh it's God. fine. It's New York, we expect. Um, uh, <laughs> 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 New York, it's fine. The New York, 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 uh, uh, incredible. Um, that's going to be. Uh, oh, I actually have to roll to maintain concentration because I got my oh, flaming. Yeah. Oh, you do as well. Yeah. Do I also need to? Do uh, so you take twelve? So yours. Uh, I got a twenty. Cool. Okay. Yeah. I got. Uh, I don't think I did it. I didn't do it. I only got a nine. Yep. Yeah. Flaming uh, sphere is gone. The flaming sphere is gone. Do I have to do it for bless? Um, for bless. Yes, you do. Great. On Ooh. a constitution. If it's constitution. I do not. Um, the bless disappears as you guys are uh, eviscerated by this Bless peppermint disappears. storm. Okay. That's gonna be Sophie. Okay. I am done wasting my time with henchmen. Uh, I'm going after that chrysalis and I'm gonna use a key point to dash so cool. that I can run over here and into here. I'll take their attacks of opportunity. Okay. Confident. Uh, they miss you. Uh, so, yeah. you take, so you take a dash. So Where I you, take you, my dash. I want to slide in here, uh, like home plate hole? style. So go ahead and give me an acrobatic. <laughs> you also see, by the way, that, and I'll throw this at you, at you as you're running towards it. Because of the fire and because of the thing inside battering its way out, you also see that the structure of this also looks incredibly weak right now. I'll just throw that out there. But if you want to slide in, you're totally welcome to. I want to slide in and attack whatever's in there. Absolutely. While it's trying to form itself. Um, so awesome. acrobatics. Cool. I got out of 11. <laughs> uh, you slide in and uh, the ice tunnel closes on you and you're not able to uh, uh, slide all the way into the... Uh, uh, but you, you, have, you have an action left. So there's a bone, you had, it's because you did your movement, you had a bonus action dash, so you have a full action left if you want. Can I just heave that off me? Um, yeah, you can either do athletics or okay. a saving throw. I'll do athletics. Cool. 19. You, trapped under here, go to lift, and as you were going there, you hear a voice somewhere deep inside you go, it is what it is. Boom! You fling the entire chrysalis off <laughs> into, <laughs> into the sky. You feel a power in your body and a sense of purpose that you honestly haven't felt in a long time. And you guys watch the ice scatter and the dome fly into the sky. <laughs> oh! Oh wait, no, Santa's down there. Uh, oh, right? Is yeah, Santa that's dead? Little... <laughs> what the? No! Yeah. Santa! Santa. Cronenberg Santa. Hey, ugly. Well, honestly, God, guys, yes. more like Miracle on 42nd Street. Woo! <laughs> Jesus. Um, yeah. We just watched a drunk woman flip a giant ice cocoon. <laughs> into, just up into the sky, it like sm shatters against one of the buildings and turns into snow. I turn to Kingston and be like, just like old times. I mean, I'll tell you. Uh, <laughs> hey, did anyone see that? Yeah, it was we beautiful. We saw it. It. Yeah. Yeah. it was very good. Uh, Thank you. Uh, Pete, that's going to be you. Jesus Christ. Santa's my friend and he's dead <laughs> or very hurt. He looks awful. Okay, can I run up onto this? Um, yes, you can either use magic to do, if you have magic you can do that, or you can make an acrobatics check to get up on there. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. <laughs> you give me an acrobatics check? Allie, you are a bad roller. Five. It's the table yeah. with acrobatics. I thought, I thought uh, that might happen. What is that? What do I add to that? Um, just your acrobatics. Uh, it'll just be your dex unless you have, so three, so eight. Eight. Um, you go to climb up on here, um, also, this Santa's gonna get an attack of opportunity oh, on you. Oh, is there one there? There's yeah. one that, yeah, with you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, definitely hits <laughs> for, uh, and deals you uh, five points of damage uh, with a claw <laughs> as you uh, rush past. Um, and you start to try to clamber up, um, and you hear a voice in your head saying, anything is possible, anything, anything is possible, anything is possible. And and you you can't get up. <laughs> you can't. You're yeah. like scrambling to try to get up. Uh, you feel the weird rising sense in your stomach. Um, also, one thing we forgot to do last round when you were doing some magic was to roll for wild magic surge. Please go ahead and roll for wild oh, magic yeah. surge now. Oh yeah, cool. 
17. 17. Uh, we're also gonna be doing a homebrew rule here with your wild magic, which is that every time you don't wild magic surge, the chance of you wild magic surging goes up by one. Okay, so I have to roll twice. Uh, or rather, you'll roll at the same time, but now on a one or two, you surge. Oh, okay. So it the, grows. Lo the longer it grows, it like builds up. Um, cool, great. you can't make it up there, but you do have your action left. Oh, great, great, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm going to get back in touch with that darkness, because it felt like it was like helping me and mm -hmm. these new friends. Um, so I'm going to try to attack this like big daddy. Yeah. Can I reach that with 120, 120 feet? 120, yes, you can definitely do. Okay. I'm going to do Scorching Ray, but this time I'm gonna use a sorcery point to add one more. So instead of like three oh. people, I could do four. Is that one of the is that one of the powers you have with sorcery? Yeah, points? sorcery, I guess I can use a point per level mm -hmm. per level of the spell to add like a uh, an extra oh. thing to it or like an extra uh, cool. What's the name of that ability? I think it's just something I can use for sorcery. Sorcery, sorcery points, points for. Okay. Um I'm not seeing, I, I'd like to, in order to do extra damage, or are you doing sorcery points to make an extra spell slot? It would be using a sorcery point to pick an, an extra person to attack. Oh, you just get one more ray with that? I think so. Okay. But I could be wrong, I'm down to check You it. know what, I'm down. You can take another ray with a sorcery point, we'll figure it out later. Okay. Um, Does that sound? I think it might just be spell slots, but I, I haven't played it. I think it's just spell slots. If you want to use two, both your sorcery points to add another, another ray, I'll house rule that we can do that this cool. time. Um, uh, cool, uh, go ahead and roll your four attacks. Cool. 11. Uh, plus your Oh, right, 17. oh, so 17. That hits. 19 plus 6, 25. That hits. 21. And 9. Uh, roll damage for your first three attacks. Cool. Um, these are d6s. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, can I borrow? Yeah. Nice. Need one more? Yeah, one more. There you go. Those, Those are... D6 is going. Get them yeah. going. Get them oh hot. Oh, goodness, so chunky. Get them hot. Oh. Nice. All right, All right, that's good. Yeah. 10, 18, uh, 23. Hell yeah. Ooh. All on um, Big Daddy? Um, All on Big Daddy. Pete, go ahead and tell me. You reach out to the voice, and the voice in the darkness goes, it is right to wish for power. Uh, what happens as Pete raises his hand? You can feel this is powerful magic. Yeah, I feel, I do feel like it's evil, but I'm like, I have always been someone who lives in the night, and maybe that's just me now. So I'm like, thank you. And then I attack. Uh, your, the flesh and bone of your arm explodes out like a banana, peeling apart, going Wah! And a torrent of flame shoots out. And you see that the flame is filled with these little beaked goblins or something made of fire, going like, yay, we're all coming! As they shoot out and rend the chest of this giant Santa thing. Uh, and your arm starts to like stitch itself back together. You feel insane and like high. Uh, this is awesome. Go ahead and roll another wild magic surge for me. 17. You're good. Um, <laughs> uh, What's the worst thing that could happen in a wild magic surge? Uh, you could kill your entire party. <laughs> uh, I'm here for it. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I'm here uh, for the game killing us. All uh, that's going to be. Uh, that's going to be Very cool. Misty. Um, I would like to take a five foot step back. I can take a five foot step back without getting an attack of opportunity. Uh, five right? foot step is actually oh, a, that's a three point five. 5 thing. Uh, as long as you don't leave the okay. threatened area, you're fine. So I would like to cast uh, Fairy Fire, which is a first level spell on this little monster guy, and he has to um, win a, he has to beat a dexterity saving throw, and if he does not beat the dex throw, he, we gain advantage on all attacks against him. Really? Yes. Uh, ooh, that seems extremely. Uh, I'll read it out to you if you like. Uh, no, that that's great. Um, so he has to roll a dex save. Yeah. Uh, what's the DC for your spells? Uh, DC is 14. Ooh, boy. You know what? It's first battle. Let's bring out our old friend, the Box of Doom. Mm. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. 
once again bringing out our old friend, the Box of Doom. For important roles here, our friends are in the middle of a frozen Times Square fighting these horrifying Santas, and their giant hive queen Santa Claus has just appeared. Uh, we're not going to roll because that Santa is going to make a little old saving throw. Um, tell you right now that this Santa makes that throw on a 13 or higher to see if this spell affects it. We'll go ahead and roll. It rolled a five. Uh, yeah! Misty, what does your spell look like as you cast it? Um, a beautiful, sparkly, almost like Disney princess-esque uh, circle of lights enshroud him um, and like ding off of him in little trink, like plinky bells. <laughs> naughty. Darling, I love to be naughty. It's my favorite thing. <laughs> uh, incredible. Uh, Kogrash, it's gonna be you. Sweet, oh boy. Everyone's so Um, okay. Kingston, you got you got to uh, you got a friend Ricky here. I'm, I think I'm gonna head back for Ricky in a second. Okay, um, then I'm gonna. I guess I'll create another flaming sphere and shoot it at him. That'll be my last second level spell. But I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Hell yeah! Uh, go ahead and uh, this guy's gonna make a save. What's your DC on that? Uh, my DC is fourteen. Um, awesome. Go ahead and roll damage. Cool. Ten. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna have it chill up in his. Um, you see that <laughs> this garbage, oily fireball <laughs> um, attacks this giant monster, Kingston. That's you. Uh, can I? Uh, what's the state of Santa? Uh, you look down. Uh, make a medicine check for me. <laughs> oh, uh, is he alright? Kingston, is he okay? <laughs> What is the state of Santa? Uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be twenty eight. Uh, Ooh. Santa is badly injured, mm -hmm. but still breathing. Okay, right. Uh, I think of my old friend Santa, but uh, I notice how awfully hurt Ricky Matsui is right now. So I can heal myself. To what extent, though? I, I have a cure wounds uh, and I uh, lay on hands. Still, if you felt like healing Santa, heal Santa. Uh, I kind of want to heal Santa. Oh, you gotta do it. But heal I, Santa. Rick, I can, we can, we, I'm he can gonna, take care of himself. He's a big, strong boy. Fine, I heal Santa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I'll do healing words so I don't have to get all up in the juices with uh, the Hive Queen. Oh, don't Santa. talk about the juices. Uh, uh, okay, so you're gonna bonus action healing word. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, oh, I forgot to. Let me you see. Bonus action. What is that? So do I just roll D4 bombarded? plus my spellcasting modifier? Um, yes, you do. Great. Uh, it's gonna be eight. Um, uh, what do you say to Santa? Santa, get your up! <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> and you see he vomits a bunch of peppermint eggs out uh -huh. of his... Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. It laid eggs in me! It laid eggs in Jolly Old uh -huh. St. Nick! Oh my um, God. <laughs> Guys, that's it for this chapter of Dimension 20. But wait, hearken. The cry of more full episodes of Dimension 20. They call out to you from dropout.tv. Will you not run to their aid with your free trial today? Yeah. Yeah. Santa goes perfectly in your arms. Um, he goes, you do so much for all of us. Someone needs to look out for you. <laughs>